Needham Boys Soccer has been on the cusp of continuing the great tradition of state champions making it to the title game three of the last four years there's been a state tournament. Despite falling short each of those times, Jimmy O's teams always seem to figure out how to reshuffle and keep aiming towards the title. Heading into a showdown with rival Wellesley, the Rockets were 5-1 with four straight wins. The Raiders were 5-0-2 with a seven-game unbeaten streak on the line. So, let's head to Brockfield to check out the highlights. This one on Tuesday, September 24th, and it's the only time of the regular season these two will go head-to-head. -head. The goal is coming early and often, at least by Wellesley. Alex Gold setting up Sawyer Temple to unleash the long bomb just over the reach of the keeper Jasper Potter. About 10 minutes in, and the Raiders are up one zip. Needham with a corner kick. And Max Goodrow's header is going to go right into the waiting arms of Wellesley goalie Rex Naylor, who then boots it deep into Rockets territory. Wait for it. Yep, that's me on the camera trying to get my bearings. The ball ends up in the possession of Temple again, and he sneaks it past Popper on the right side. 2-0 lead for the Raiders, not even 18 minutes in. However, the Rockets respond right away. Max Edwards sets up Austin Williams, a sliding boot to the right side, and sophomore Dean Ezat there for the score. Needham cuts the lead to 2-1, heading to the break. Less than eight minutes into the second half, bad break for Needham. Enzo Desviet Ruiz's shot deflects off of Goudreau, and it goes in for an own goal. 3-1 Raiders. Good news though, Rocket fans, that's the last Wellesley goal you'll see. Why? because of the performance by Avery Brodsky off the corner by Isaiah Hart. Is this double dragon on NES? That's a jump kick by Brodsky to pull the Rockets back within one. A minute later, the shot by Edwards blocked by Naylor, but Brodsky controls it, takes out a defender, and scores on the right side of the goal. So just over 23 minutes to go, and we are tied at three. Four minutes later, and trust me here, Brodsky does it again, giving Needham its first lead of the game, paying no attention to the editing, I promise. This is what happened. And that would be enough as the Rockets win it 4-3, ending Wellesley's seven-game unbeaten streak, extending their win streak to five, and improving their season record to 6-1. and one. Up next, a Saturday morning matchup against St. John's Prep before returning home Tuesday, October 1st against Natick. The first time we saw Needham field hockey this year, they were coming off a pair of games that couldn't have been more different. In their season opener, they won a 10-0 blowout at Weymouth, then lost a close 2-1 decision at Brookline. They came home and pounded Braintree 6-1 in front of our crew, but since then it's been a rough season, winning just one of their next four games, including one tie, heading into a rematch of the controversial playoff game against Newton North from last fall. The Tigers had just two wins in their first seven games, but are heading in the right direction. So let's head to Founders Field for the action. This game on Monday, September 23rd, and it was a surprise to see Newton North Come out so strong, less than two minutes in, Lexi Blanchfield gets the ball by Needham goalie Caitlin McNeil. Revenge on the minds of the Tigers after the disallowed goal in that playoff game nearly a year ago. Less than five minutes to go in the first quarter. Newton North corner, several Tigers are gonna take a swing. One of them is Blanchfield knocking it to the left side. That's a beautiful shot, but how about this folks? Newton North takes a two nothing lead. Second quarter, Rockets get a breakaway opportunity. Riley Rizzo controls it and will unleash a nice shot to the left corner, but it sails just wide. That was just so close. Three and a half minutes to go in the half. Tigers, another chance. McNeil hits the turf and Newton North gets it by her again. Brutal first half of the Rockets. They go to the breakdown, three nothing. Third quarter, Rockets get a corner. Victoria Meyerson takes a nice shot. Looks like it goes off the stick of Marley Perlman and in, but the refs call it the other way, so Needham still head scoreless, held scoreless after three quarters. In the fourth, Needham finally gets one on the board. Junior Megan Scroy does the honors to make it a 3-1 game with just over seven minutes to go. A few minutes later, though, Newton North gets another. McNeil on the ground. The ball rolls out to Willa Hansen. And she buries it to the back right of the net. Tigers with a 4-1 lead. Rockets would get one more seconds later. Meyerson from the top of the uh, key, so to speak, to Caitlin Birnbaum, camp legend. That's the lead in half, but that's as close as Needham would get. They fall 4-2 at home, and it wouldn't get any better for the Rockets, who fell 1-0 two days later at Wellesley to drop their record to 3-5-1 on the year. Needham continues a four-game road trip on Monday, September 30th at Natick. Their next home game is Wednesday, October 9th against Weymouth.